Hey guys, it's Gimpy, so and welcome back to episode 8 of my Dortmund career. Now, in today's episode, we've got plenty of really good matches to get to. The first game is against Bayer Leverkusen in the league for us to play. It's the 1st of December now as well, so not too far away from the January transfer window. We've also got Real Madrid to play in the Champions League group stage. We'll be playing that match in the hope of trying to clinch onto third place so we can get into the Europa League. And then three days after that, it's a game against Werder Bremen, a game that we might well sim. We'll have to wait and see. We'll see what sort of team selection we have available because we do have Bayern Munich just after that. So we'll wait and see what sort of game we do end up playing it might just be that we play three matches up to the Bremen match or we could end up going to the buying game we'll wait and find out before we get into today's episode though if we could try and hit 100 likes then I'd really appreciate it also please go ahead hit the subscribe button if you haven't already as well and that'd be absolutely fantastic too and let's crack on with today's game the first one against Leverkusen this is a team going to go with Berkey starting goal Toljan at right back Socrates top ranking Guerrero in defence as well Dahoud Goetz are in Weigl in midfield Pulisic back Shway and Royce as our front three happy with the team selection we've gone with obviously a very strong side still trying to push our way even even further forward of the pack really uh, in, in the league at the moment by Munich just seven points behind us uh, but a chance to try and uh, get a little bit further on if we can. Okay let's crack on with this match let's see how we get on against Bayer Leverkusen so look forward to this game actually it should be a, a very tough match uh, obviously a very good side not too sure exactly where perhaps they are in the league but I imagine they're doing it all right to be honest uh, because we've got a good uh, set of players out here so yeah could be a tricky one to break down we'll have to wait and see whether we're able to get ourselves three points that we're after. Toljan into that Shui, trying to turn his man here, still going back Shui, good strength, but gets brought down, and that's been given us a corner. Strange for him to go down if he wasn't pulled down or something, but referees are giving it, and it goes out for a corner, Goetz to deliver into the front post. Can we get a goal early on here? Good chance, but actually, I think deflected out in the end. We'll take a look at Bailey during this game as well. He has been heavily suggested in the comments of uh, basically every single episode. I'm sure I see him every single time. Uh, so he is certainly someone that we're looking at for maybe a future signing or one in January maybe. Toljan cuts it inside. Back Shway now. Back heels into Goetze. Oh, saved by the goalkeeper. Chance of Bayer to try and cross in here. Oh, I thought I was expecting a cross anyway. Dived in and a ball goes in but punched away by the goalkeeper again. So far, quite balanced. Still remains nil-nil. Um, neither team's having particularly big chances so far anyway. Still a couple of minutes to go in the first half, but I think nil at half-time probably shows the game off, to be honest, <laughs> about what it's all been about. And that's got to be something. Oh, intercepted there at the very final moment we're about to shoot. Thought we could have had, actually had a goal before the break there, but didn't quite come to anything in the end. And uh, I think nil-nil will be the half-time score, especially with passes like that, it will be anyway. Yep, nil-nil half-time. Um, gutted, really. They've not managed to create much. Neither by Leverkusen. Quite an even game, and so nil-nil is probably fair. Both teams having three shots, one on target. We've had slightly more possession, though. Got to try and use the possession a little bit better, though, I think, in this second half. Oh, could be a second yellow, maybe. Close. On his final chance, I think, there. Guerrero running forward, going to go for a cross into the middle, good chance, and it's finished by Goetze, we'll happily have that on the volley, five or six minutes into the second half, and Goetze does it, puts us one up, and about time we've taken the lead as well, really happy with that one, good bit of play, I think it's Guerrero with the overlapping run, and a good cross in that's go, that goes on challenge, because if you do challenge it, then it's probably going to go in, they don't really have any other option, maybe they could head it out, but no one really is in the right position to do that, and it's easily volleyed home by Goetze, well done for him getting in the box, 1-0. Pulisic look for a 1-2, oh, doesn't get the response, so he gets blocked off, quite rightly, the referee pulls that back for a free kick, good refereeing there, similar sort of position we had earlier on, hopefully not the same result, going to get it over the wall this time, we've done the exact same thing, no surprise there, still absolutely dreadful of free kicks. Bashway turns his man, who's dived in really uh, easily there, he's overcommitted, and Bashway scores, the, the defender does all the work for us there really, allows Bashway to just simply turn him, get a shot away, it's now 2-0, doubles our lead, and that should be almost game over I think, unless they were to get a goal pretty soon after this one. Uh, it's a really good turn, great finish, and like I say, defenders helped us out massively there. Is that maybe, was that Bender maybe that let us do that? It was, it was Bender. And uh, I forgot that both of those guys are playing in this team. But yeah, it was Bender that just allowed him, uh, allowed us to turn him. And uh, he is our former player. Just helped us out nicely there. Oh, Royce chests it down. It's a great pass from Batshuayi. Can Royce keep hold of it now? That that's the biggest problem. Now inside to Goetze, who's in the box. We have to play it back to Royce for a cross and blocks. Let's make some changes. 12 minutes to go. Okay, Goetze, Royce and Batshuayi coming off. Kagawa, Yamalenko and Izak are all going to come on here. Uh, Izak asked to play in this game, and so we have decided to bring him on very late on here. Um, just didn't want to start him, didn't want to risk dropping points. Yamalenko to deliver this corner. Can we pick Socrates out, maybe? Oh, deflects to top rack. Now into Weigl. Have we got anybody else to play it to? Guerrero will happily have this. Play back inside now. Izak trying to turn his man, but intercepted. Oh, no. 
Pulled us apart here, six minutes to go. We've got to defend this properly. Top right goes for the challenge. Sort of dived in, to be honest. Luckily, a shot was taken, and he didn't decide to cut inside. And still makes it 2-0, five minutes to go. Oof. I mean, he cleared it. Luckily, not into the back of our own net. It's out for a corner for us to defend. Goalkeeper comes up, two minutes left. Instantly, I'm thinking about scoring a third, though, now the keeper's up. Let's get that one away. Top rack tries to. Goalkeeper does absolutely terrible. And luckily, the rebound was off the bar and not in the back of the net. Nearly lost our clean sheet there. Goalkeeper still up for this one. Still thinking about the third goal, though. Um, can we get that one away, please? Oh, Jesus Christ. We should win that at the front post. It's now 2 1. Leverkusen pull back. Three minutes of added on time. I'm not worried about drawing the game, but more worried about losing the clean sheet and not getting the third goal on the break. But. There you go. Makes the scoreline seem a little bit more realistic, at least. Despite them not really doing that much. That's it. 2-1 victory. Very happy with that. Um, very happy to get the three points and potentially extend our lead at the top of the table if uh, the teams around us do decide to lose. Well, not decide, but if they do lose. Uh, Leverkusen with eight shots. Um, actually, more than I thought, but only two of them on target. We had three shots on target and six in total. More possession again. Um, in my eyes, I think we deserve to win that. I think based on the performance, it looks like we should have won it as well. On to play drills now before this game against Real Madrid. It's a tricky one to know what to do in the Madrid game because actually if we win or lose or draw it doesn't do anything to the league table for anyone I don't think so it almost seems like a bit of a pointless fixture but there we go um, I think Bestie there just went up uh, we've also got the young goalkeeper going up and over I think this week as well uh, so good to see those guys increasing but like I say um, the only real effect I think it might have is on the top two who goes through as first and second it's a, it, actually ourselves it doesn't make any difference at all so uh, it's tempting just to sim it but then sim a game against Real Madrid seems a little bit off so I think we will just play it but then what team do you put out as well do you get rolled over five or six nil with a, a changed team or do you try and uh, compete with them and then risk the next game against Verde Bremen so many decisions to be made, but ultimately I'm probably going to end up going with quite a balanced team. Okay, this is the team going to go with for this game against Real Madrid. It's a 5-3-2 formation, going a little bit defensive, playing the counter-attack as well. Berkey's going to start in goal, Piszczek, Akanji, Sané and um, Zaka, Zagadu? Zagadu? Whatever. Uh, she wants to play at left back as well. It's going to be a flat fight at the back as opposed to wing backs, uh, hopefully. Uh, Roda, Sahin, and Castro starting in midfield for us, and Philippe and Rodrigo up front. So, interesting combinations all around the pitch, really, just trying out different things. A little bit worried by the midfield. Maybe it's too slow, but we'll wait and see. This is the bench I've gone with as well. So, plenty of options. Let's see how we get on. A lot of players rested, a lot of players brought in. Hopefully enough to compete. Well then, here we go. Big game against Real Madrid. A uh, big game in the sense that it's a big team. Um, and it also will tell me a lot about different systems that we're playing and things. But um, yeah, not particularly big in the grand scheme of things. Because uh, we are already in the Europa League now. So we don't really have to fight for too much. But still fighting to beat Real Madrid. We were, we were not able to do that. So uh, we've got to try and see whether we are, we are able to do that with such a changed team here. And whether we should in the future against bigger teams. Um put out a different formation of five at the back like this. So it'll tell me a lot. I'm interested in that side of things, um, whether this will actually would have made a difference if we'd gone with a five at the back. Schwarz coming forward here, trying to get a shot away. Maybe could have crossed it, but slightly better shooting position in the end. Good block by Ramos and a good start. Five minutes in, Sahin to the liver. Good ball in for Sané, but headed away. Oh, good chance here for Sahin to cross. Great opportunity. Oh, Philippe with a great chance, but heads it straight to Navas. Really well played, actually worked out really well. And uh, Real Madrid on a bit on the back foot at the moment. Giving them a lot of space to play in with us being on counter-attacking. The fence obviously sitting in so much. And at the moment they haven't quite used that, but I'm sure they certainly will. That's the only issue with being on this uh, system. Let's try and get going forward now. Castro into Philippe, trying to outpace Ramos, but the heavy touch has cost us. Sahin to shoot. Oh, the bar. Not too far away though. Roder, oh, good save by Navas. We've certainly been the, the better two of the two teams so far. 26 minutes in, still remains nil nil though. Real Madrid yet to go four properly yet. And uh, we are trying to pen them in their half if we can, which is strange being on counter-attacking, not high press. Oh, Philip's doing a great job of pressing though. He won it back off Modric, who's just too slow. Rodrigo in the end going to try and drive us forward. Needs a few more options. That's the only issue with this uh, system of playing. Good chance to play through here though. Falls to Philippe. Over to Schmelzer, maybe. Can he cross? Oh, blocked again. Keeps happening. Go on. Uh, oh! Did that take a deflection? It did. That explains the uh, strange loop in the air that he did. 
Again, headed away, though. So good in defence from those set pieces of Real Madrid. Real Madrid with the first proper opportunity here. It's going to be a free kick on the edge of the box. We know how good they are from free kicks. The tight angle, but I'm sure they can still produce something. Bale goes for a cross. It's a very bizarre one. I uh, say they're supposed to produce something and they just do that. A bit embarrassing. Rodrigo again driving us forward. Lacking options, but we've got an option here from his check. Can we just play it inside, maybe? Trying to beat him to it. We have done with Philippe, who's looked really good. I mean, a lot of you guys have been saying play him more. That's what I'm going to do now, because he does look very good. Two minutes left of the first half. Castro to the liver. And Philippe's in there again. Again, cleared. We're just going to have to play it short, I think, in the next half. Oh, Ronaldo went for the cross there. Heavy challenge on him. The referee should have blown his whistle ages ago. We've been playing so long in added on time. Um, hopefully we've injured Ronaldo here, uh, just to obviously try and get their best players out. Uh, but it doesn't seem like we have. Gareth Bale to take this free kick. Is he going to do a strange chip again? He has chipped it in, but it's not a strange one. It's headed out to Marcelo. And uh, have got to try and stop the second phase of play now. Casemiro's picked it up. Just don't let him back in the box. And we have done, luckily saved. Play whistle, ref. Come on. Play about 10 minutes of added on time here. It's ridiculous. Finally, he does it. Nil nil. We've done very well in that first half. We haven't been holding on at all. This has been us competing, us being the better team. Uh, and so considering that this is a heavily changed side, we're really doing a good job against Madrid. And suggest that maybe we should play Fabio back more often in these sort of bigger matches. Uh, Real Madrid with a very strong team out. Bale, Ronaldo, Benzema. Kept them all quiet though. So uh, very impressive from us so far. But hopefully we can continue that uh, for another 45 minutes. Can we find that ball through to Piszczek? Oh, not far away. Marcelo just beats us to it. But Rodrigo's won it back. Chance to shoot if we can. Oh, what a finish that would have been. So close as well. At least it looked like it from that angle. Really good opportunity. He wins it back perfectly off there. Um, was it defender? Was it Modric? I can't quite tell. But not a bad strike. Sadly, though, just drifts a little bit wider goal in the end. But good opportunity. Just needs to be a little bit more clinical if we can win this game. First two changes. Giga to come on. Also Derm as well. Roder will come off. Piszczek will also come off. Doom coming on to freshen out, legs at right back. Um, Kagawa coming on to give us a little bit more creativity in there, also energy as well. Um, so I think that's uh, going to be very important if we're going to try and get ourselves the goal to nick this game, uh, which it really would be. We're not going to go out here and dominate the match, I don't think, unless Madrid decide to throw loads of players forward. But um, yeah, if we do want to try and nick the match, um, by playing the better football, and I think we can certainly do that with a bit more creative flair in the middle. Real Madrid starting to build up the pressure a little bit down the final 20 minutes, certainly looking for that victory. And Efri's given a free kick there. Felt like we got the ball, but we did get the player as well. Um, about 20 minutes left of this game now. Going to look to make the final change. Just can't really decide who it should be. I think we've got Isaac again. Um, we'll take off Philip and uh, rest him, make sure he doesn't get sent off or anything. 20 minutes to go. Quite a good free kick position here for uh, Ronaldo or somebody else if they're going to lay it off. Ronaldo's there, he chips it into a good position, but cleared. Let's go with a great run. I thought he'd scored as well. Such a clean strike on his left foot. Unbelievable stuff, but uh, luckily just uh, wide there. Can we flick it out here to Schmelz so we can? Every single time he's gone forward from left back, he's done a great job for us. In all fairness, and we're going to try and pick out Isaac here to turn Marcelo. Marcelo reads it well, but actually loses it, and eventually will be cleared, but uh, very close to getting a chance there. Give away free kick. Look at that for a pass through to Rodrigo. Look at Real Madrid's defence. They're all running back. Rodrigo going to shoot, and oh, gone in. Wow, I thought he'd been saved. Unbelievable. Hit them on the break. I so wanted to pass it across, but it just didn't open up for us. And Rodrigo does it. He's put us one a lot. Eight minutes to go. Certainly not all over, though. But you can just see that players are thrown forward. It was always going to happen if we win back the ball. It's exactly what we did. And it just about trickles into the back of that. Thought it had been saved by Navas, but just about scores it. And uh, good enough in the end to get us a 1-0 lead. But have we nicked this game? We'll have to wait and find out. Still plenty of time left. And look at the numbers they'll throw forward now. Even more than before. Again, though, I'm still kind of thinking about a second goal on the break. Uh, but I've got to probably defend first. Sahin plays it over to Durham, who's got the fresh legs. He's running forward in a great position to attack. Still go waiting for the cutback. Good chance. Could it be a second, though, because it's a great block and a great clearance as well. That's left us a little bit vulnerable at the back. Sane deals with it really well. No foul in there, but Ramos has won it back off him. Uh, we had to bring him down, had to stop the counter attack. No doubt a card. Okay. No, no card. Happy about that. Very happy about that. We've escaped one. And that means now he can go get booked uh, in a couple of minutes instead. Ronaldo, is he going to hit this one from here? He is. Oof. 
Not too far away, to be fair. Um, wouldn't have put it past him either. Got to be it now, ref. Come on. It's got to be it. Yes, it is. A beat Real Madrid with a heavily changed team. Five at the back. Obviously, worked really well for us here. Sitting back, absorbing the pressure, hitting on the break. It didn't even turn out like that sort of game, to be honest. We controlled the first half really well. It was only the latter stages of the second half and towards the end of the game in general where we had to sit back a little bit more, absorb the pressure, then break, and that worked perfectly for us. But the first half, we actually controlled it really well and probably deserved to be in front from that. Um, you can see 13 shots, 9 on target, only really one team that deserved to win. Okay, so this game against Werder Bremen could well be the final one of today's episode as well, actually. And um, we're going back to also the 4-3 formation, the defend formation, which is actually now my main one that I'm going to use. Berkey stands in goal, Toljan, Socrates, top right, Guerrero in defence, Dehoud, Goetzer and Weigl in midfield, Pulisic, Bashwai and Royce up front as our front three. So, no real difference to what we've seen a lot of the time before. This is the match I've gone with those, Sané, Durm, Kagawa, Yamalenko, Philippe, Isaac, and also Rodrigo on there as well. Rodrigo was going to be potentially drop completely but he just about gets on there obviously for good performances um, but I just was worried he was going to be too tired but he seems alright still seven points in front of Bayern Munich don't know where Werder Bremen are I imagine the bottom end but not really too sure to be honest uh, let's see how we get on try and beat them um, looking forward to this game ok then we go for this game against Werder Bremen let's find out how we get on um, obviously quite a strong team one of our stronger sides out uh, we do have a game against Bayern Munich next episode, it won't quite be this one, uh, which is in a few days' time actually, so it's a little bit risky going with such a strong team here, but want to keep our good run of form in uh, the league going, and so that's what we're going to try and do. Keep up the momentum, and if uh, the worst comes to worst, then we can always try and play a similar sort of team to the one that played against Madrid. Bashwai now into Goethe, so we start off quite strong here. Looks to try and create something we can. Goethe are back to Pulisic, who went for the cross into Bashwai. What a finish, what a start as well. He scores on his left foot, Bashwai's done it. And uh, we're winning the game 1 0. Really impressive start inside five minutes. It was feeding it back out to um, the wide player there, allowing to get a cross in. It shouldn't be allowed, but Bashwai also loses his marker. Fair play to the goalkeeper. He gets there uh, and just about gets something on it, but just not enough. Incredible to uh, be able to do that. Great reflexes, but like I say, you can't really stop that. Batshuayi scores his 11th goal of the league season, and we're winning the game 1 0. Royce going to go for a cross down to Batshuayi. Oh, another one on target. Could have been a second. Just a couple of minutes later, goalkeeper saves well this time. Still a lively start. This could get really bad for Werder Bremen if they don't sort it out soon. Pulisic now going for a cutback and cut out really well, but still having to go up there back four and cause them issues. Batshuayi looking for the ball through there to Pulisic. Good chance. Pulisic hit it first time. Didn't quite get the connection I wanted. Cleared away after a good save. Half time still win the game 1 0. Um, probably should be two up, I'd say. We had a couple of good chances. Um, but other than that, we've not really had any, I can't say we're deserving to be any further in front of that. Haven't had much defending to do. Um, basically, Bremen have just sat in and tried to defend and caused them quite a few issues when doing that as well. But sadly, not quite managed to double our lead just yet. Got to do that fairly early on in the second half, though. Uh, make sure we get some sort of lead over them. Bremen coming forward for the first time. It's a wild shot on the end. Gone Pulisic, well wrestled, still has it. Trying to come inside and gets tripped up, surely. But the referee hasn't given anything which allows play to continue. Seemed like to me uh, his leg got tripped up, but not given. Oh, hit the bar. Was not expected that. And uh, Bremen, of course, is a bit of a shock there with about 20 minutes left of the game. It's come from nothing. They've barely had any chances as well. It's starting to come forward once or twice here. Didn't even realise they had Figuli in the team. A little bit of quality on the right-hand side. But after a goal kick now, got to be careful, but got to try and get a second. We need to double our lead, otherwise we're at risk of conceding later on. Oh, well played to He's out strength the defender somehow there. Still going, going to try and fake shot. Loses one man, runs into another, and then passes it to another. So close, he tries to take on three of them. Good chance, save by the goalkeeper. Eight minutes left. A little bit worried, not going to lie, because I think they might have one more chance of them. Um, we've got to make sure we don't allow it to happen. Still looking to get another goal, though. Uh, we've got to bring in Yamalenko, take off Royce, try and rest him. Big game against Bayern coming up soon. Uh, we might also have to do the same with Batshuayi, bring on Isaac, I think. Yeah, that's what we'll do, and then kick out with the next player coming on. So, sort of similar change to what you've seen before, really. Uh, it will be Goethe to come off and um, keep Weigl on, try and remain fairly defensive at times. Let's try and defend this corner properly into the front post and head it away. That's good, actually. Isaac trying to win it back, and he has done. Can he keep hold of it still? Ball rolling away from him, but he does keep hold of possession. Now it's time to drive forward. Needs an option on the right-hand side. He's going to get it from Pulisic. Will he play it, though? Oh, he just plays it straight to the defender. Yamalenko inside to Izak. Again, looking for more support. Dahoud now into Weigl. Back into Izak. It's opened up. Could this be a second? It is. It's deserved as well. We should have got it much earlier than what we have done, but Izak gets the goal, and with a couple of minutes left, we've surely won the game here. 2-0 now. 
And uh, yeah, just need to get it earlier on in the match. It should have been either, you know, as soon as we start the second half, or it should have been in the first half, really. Had a good few chances, but uh, eventually it does happen uh, in the 88th minute. Get it past the goalkeeper, opened up really nicely, and uh, scored the second goal. Isaac certainly feels like he's chipped in with a few goals recently, which is quite nice. A good little option to have on the bench for us. Guerrero going to get forward now into Isaac. Good chance again. He's doing a great job for us up front here. Oh, went for a good shot, actually, but just over the bar. But that's it. We got ourselves another victory, another three points. 2-0 uh, victory this time around. Again, keeping a clean sheet, which is good. Um, they could have had maybe a goal, I'd say. They hit the bar once. Um, but yeah, other than that, not done too much, as you can see, by the shots on target. Um, so again, probably deserved result for us, but held on to it to make sure we got the second. And uh, from then on, it seemed pretty comfortable. Okay, so we'll end with some player drills. Uh, we will get on with training a few more players. Looks like Bestie, that left back, could go up. Uh, maybe even the goalkeeper go up on a few stats this week as well. Looks like we could have quite a good one, and we certainly do get that. Not much change in overall, though. In fact, um, no, obviously no real change, but the goalkeeper does go up by a little bit himself. A uh, good few weeks from those guys, though. They look pretty decent, those couple of youngsters. Uh, we've just got to try and remember to change them when we need to. I think, though, for now, we might be okay for another couple of weeks. And now ready for that game against Bayern Munich next episode. That's the round of 16, so um, it's quite an early stage to be meeting them. You'd expect it of uh, being the final, but obviously they didn't keep those two teams apart. And we've met in the round of 16, so that'll be an interesting game to see who progresses in the cup. But for now, that's everything for today's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. If we could try and hit 100 likes on today's episode, then I'd really appreciate it. Also, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already as well, and that'd be absolutely fantastic too. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.